welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim. I'm Jen. <laughs> and Morgan's back there. Howdy. Hey, yeah, there he goes. Uh, I'm I'm about to burst, guys. I'm seriously. Uh, if, if 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 I if we hit too big of a bump, I think I'm going to burst. We, uh, we just went to uh, eat Chinese or Japanese. I guess it's Chinese Japanese, right? Red Koi in uh, Cordova, just outside of Memphis. And uh, I had hibachi. I had filet and shrimp hibachi. And uh, oh, so good. And uh, what'd you have? I had uh, filet and chicken. Chicken, filet, chicken and filet. Vegetables. I don't like their vegetables. They're really chunky. Man, they have the, the squash and the onions and the carrots and they're al dente, they're like crispy, and the yum yum sauce and the ooh, so good. Morgan had uh, sushi, two different types of sushi, and uh, these guys brought to go or brought leftovers home. Yeah. Me, not so much. That's why I'm kind of about to burst right now. Sorry. I'm hurt. I'm hurt, that's for sure. Uh, we are coming back home from church. Um, went to a church I used to go to, uh, Bellevue Baptist Church in Memphis. Uh, it's the largest uh, Southern Baptist church in the world, and it's the largest church in Memphis. It's a mega church. I think it's 55,000 members, something like that. I don't know what it is now. Um, I hadn't been back in a while, but um, Jin Jin's first time at a mega church. What do you think about a mega church? <laughs> With I love those, the music. The, yeah, the yeah. music was very good. Um, Brother Steve, our pastor, he's um, recovering from lung cancer. Um, he said uh, the cancer is gone from his lungs, and he had some, I guess he was like stage three or something, he had some in his ribs, and he's uh, had specialized chemo to take care of that. So uh, uh, prayers and uh, out to Brother Steve. Sound like he's doing a lot better. You can still hear it in his voice because uh, he was a little raspy. Great message today. Um, very powerful message. Again, and there was three people baptized. That was awesome. And it was two kids and an older lady. I love see. I, I, I love seeing little kids, and then I, or not little kids. I love seeing kids of age, mental age to me, um, and then older people. I love seeing older people baptized. And just, and just, a, just amazing feeling to, to know what you know because I, actually I was older when I got baptized I got saved when I was a, a long time ago but I didn't get baptized till I was older um, great day great day at church uh, there was probably 3,000 in attendance it's the second service it's the contemporary service and you know they had the the guitars drums and the, the singers were amazing weren't they, they were, yes. uh, the, the guys and the girls they, uh, they it was what probably 10 people in that band Probably 10 people total. Maybe. Four or five singers, guitar player, bass player, piano player, drummer, uh, two guitar players. Yeah. More than 10, I believe. Yeah, more than 10. I think there was at least six people up there. It's a singer, yeah, microphone. yeah. Uh, so good, so good. Uh, gave Jen a little tour around. And we saw the, uh, every area of this church has like its own little section for, like if you're, um, uh, a widower. There's a Sunday school group for widowers for, uh, you know, 20s to 30s, married couples, uh, singles, uh, kids, adolescents, babies. And uh, each, each has their own like little coffee shop area, play area. And it's just pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. Um, it's been a, it's been a busy, busy week on the ridge. I'll tell you that for sure. Morgan, being there has really helped out. Jen Jen, of course, you saw her uh, uh, work her little tail off in the heat, moving all that uh, steel for the uh, solar carport. Uh, hats off to Jen Jen for that. Hats off to Morgan for all he helped me do. We are actually going to, he is leaving to go back to college. I thought he was staying a couple more days, and uh, I was going to have him help me move that 4,000 pounds of concrete again. He said he's leaving tomorrow, so we we're going to do it today. But uh, after eating all this food, and then I gotta go home and cook ribs. I got I got my uncle Sonny's coming over, and uh, Grandma Carol's laid out a couple slabs of ribs. So I'm gonna be smoking some ribs this afternoon. We may go up, and uh, I may um, prepare to move the concrete. I'm trying to think smarter, not harder, uh, because when me and Morgan did that before, you know, we pretty much moved all 4,000 pounds of it. I mean, well, half of it moved over 2,000 pounds by hand. 
think if I split it up on a couple pallets, already on two pallets, if I split it to a third pallet, Old Blue can handle three pallets. I've only got room where I'm putting it for two pallets, so I'll have to move one of them over. I think I'll figure it out. I think I'll figure it out. So if Morgan can't be there, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll figure a way to work smarter, not harder. Um, but what me and Morgan did get done, of course, moving the solar panels. You'll see that here very, very soon. Um, we have the ridge property marked out for all the foundations. We have the barn dominium foundation marked out. We have the solar carport marked out to where um, we know the uh, the physical overhang of all the solar panels, and then we know we know where the uh, oops we know where the pillars are going to go. There's a car broke down in front of me. I got to move, go around it. That's a bad spot, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Anybody coming over there? I usually fly through here, so yeah, you gotta be uh, careful. I wouldn't have noticed it. Um, <laughs> yeah, but so but we marked out where the solar panels, the 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 layout of those, and Morgan had to do some uh, uh, engineering math because you know the the solar panels are a certain dimension, but they're at an angle, so the actual uh, footprint they leave is less than their overall dimension because of the Pythagorean theorem, right? The hypotenuse, the long angle. Anyway, so we got that all figured out, got that laid out, and then we laid out where the pillars are, which is what I gotta, I gotta uh, get the auger out and start uh, cut, uh, digging those holes this week and getting my form, form material, uh, form those up. I'm gonna do 24 inch uh, circular holes with the auger and post hole digger. And then I'm gonna do, I believe, 30 inch squares on top of those, and I'll, I'll rebar them, pour all the concrete down in there, and have a rebar basket, you know, uh, and uh, so there'll be a 24 inch hole with a 30 inch uh, square on top of it, all one single pour, and then I'll have a jig that has the uh, L bolts that hold the carport, carport pedestals up. And I'll push that jig down in the concrete, have it all squared up, and then once the once I get all six of those done, then I'll be able to start putting the carport together. So that's it's it's coming along. It is coming along. And we also got the uh, where the shed, the drop-in powerhouse shed, uh, the shed to powerhouse. We marked out where that's going to be gone, uh, be placed. Matter of fact, we also built a canopy. Pretty busy. <laughs> Pretty busy. Uh, again, all these videos coming out on Ridge Live this week. You'll see those. Uh, there's one out. Uh, we saw Jin Jin in the carport yesterday. Uh, tomorrow is um, the which one is it? The canopy building, yeah. And then uh, the one after that is uh, all the solar. And then the next one after that, I'm probably going to show you all these foundation layouts and, of course, uh, getting this concrete mixer put together and. Uh, uh, moving all that concrete. How will Tim move the 4,000 pounds without throwing his back or knee out? Will he do it without throwing his back or knee out? <laughs> That's the question. Uh, Ginger and I had a nice little ride yesterday, didn't we? We did, yeah. Rode our motorcycle, uh, went down to the Harley Davidson uh, dealership right next to it. It's this little uh, restaurant called the Sidecar Cafe. Had a live band. First time I ever heard a live band play Blackberry Smoke. That was what we, we, we pulled in. We pulled right? in. I turned my motorcycle off and I hear, got a good one going on. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's my baby's <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, Morgan's going back to college. Um, starts uh, the 21st. Yep. Yeah. We thought, first, we thought it was the 14th or 17th, something like that. And he found that I'd actually do his first day of classes the 21st. Uh, Adelie, my granddaughter's birthday is coming up. Uh, this week, right? Yeah, this week. What is today? 11th? Yeah. So I guess it's next week. But uh, she'll be six years old, I believe. Wow, six years old. That is so crazy. Um, I got all her presents ordered. Yeah, yeah. She, uh, uh, Alyssa gave me a, a, you know, an idea list and pretty much everything was uh, mermaids. Like Ariel and stuff, and you got remember we went to Disney. Uh, we stayed at the Ariel uh, Resort yeah. Suite. You know we had Ariel, like huh? Ariel, 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 Ariel. 
Oh, Ariel, Ari, Ariel, Ariel. I guess so. Ariel. Like Ariel. Huh? I say Ariel. Ariel. And you say it. It's Ariel. Ariel. You said Ariel. It's like Waterburger. <laughs> it's Waterburger, it's right? Water. I did not say water. water. I said Waterburger. Waterburger. It's not. Okay, I did not say water. I did not. I'm not saying water burger. I'm saying water burger. What a burger. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what a burger either. It's one burger. It's what it's okay. <laughs> yeah, we're 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 pretty silly like that. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so you are you Jen, are you all recovered from your heat stress, heat stroke, uh dehydration, overexertion? Yes. Uh, I'm recovered. <laughs> she's recovered. <laughs> Thank you all for your concern too. A lot of y'all yes. were reaching out. Appreciate you very, very much. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I was talking to David. He's all excited about our uh, bikes, blues, and barbecue trip coming up in September. Get his motorcycle all ready. Uh, you excited for it, Jen? Oh, yeah. And uh, I'm hoping, because it's the very end of September, we might get to see some pretty leaves changing. Because they're already starting to change, aren't yeah, they? they are. Yeah. We, left, we left church, right? And all those trees, I think they were maples. All the maples were red already. They were beautiful. And there's a couple trees. I don't know what they are. They're already losing their leaves like crazy. I mean, like leaves dropping everywhere. I think that may just be the, uh, the, the fact that we haven't had rain in almost three weeks. But I think there may be some rain coming this week, and I need some because I've been spending way too much time and money moving them sprinklers around, running that generator. I got to change the oil and generator again. You know that? Just did that. You're supposed to change it every 50 hours, and I've been running it, you know, 10 hours a day. So, five days, there you go. Oh, my goodness. But, you know, you saw it only, it doesn't take very long to change that oil. It only, it only, has, it only holds, like, pff, pint. <laughs> doesn't hold much oil at all. It's a good thing you're not using, like, city water. <clears throat> oh. That would be expensive, the water. That yeah, because city, the city, city water, they charge you for the water and the sewer uses. Even if you don't put the water through the sewer, they charge you for the sewer. So, I ain't got no and um, our electric went out. My mom said our electric's gone out uh, almost every day recently. So she'll, she'll get a notification on her thing that the, the power went out. It went out on us this morning. And uh, But hopefully when I get solar, ain't got to worry about that. As long as, as long as Tim does it right, we shouldn't lose any power. And it's free. Well, I mean, well mostly free. free. Yeah, it, it, the initial cost is not. Yeah. But... but but I got some big news about that. I got news that all the uh, inverters and batteries shipped. All my cables, the bus work, the disconnects, the six uh, rack batteries, the server rack, and uh, three uh, EG4 inverters all shipped. So I needed my shed so I could put them in. But unfortunately, the shed was delayed. Why was the shed delayed? You're going to have to watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going now Tuesday to go visit my shed. Tuesday. Tuesday is the day. I, I have an appointment. So I'm going to go see my shed, video it for y'all, get a t tour of the factory. Don't delete my files, right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so y'all get to see, you'll probably see that video next weekend. By the time I get, yeah, probably next weekend by the time you see that video. So, and then of course I'll be digging the footers, you know, and getting the concrete poured and form, forming everything up. You'll be seeing those those videos start to come out soon too. I go to doctor Wednesday, find out if I go back to work, ten hours a day, Monday through Friday. So, let's we'll see how that goes. You don't think it's gonna happen? I don't think so. Um, I will say this: uh, the doctor warned me uh, when I before I had my surgery. There's two types of surgery: autograft which you use your own tendons. They, they, they cut out your own tendons from your leg and they put them in and replace your ACL with your own tendons. It's a lot more invasive and uh, recovery more acute initially because they've had to take, take material, you know, you've already got a busted blown out ACL. Now they got to take out some more tendon. Um, and then there's allograft. Allograft is when they use a cadaver's ACL and they don't have to take any ear tissue, but it's a cadaver, right? So, with the autograph, your, your own material, 
the recovery is rougher initially for the first uh, you know few weeks, but then you heal quicker. You're more on the four to six month than the six to nine months. With the allograft, you have a very quick initial recovery because they had to do less invasive surgery, but because it's cadaver tissue and your body has to absorb and reform and all that, it's more towards the six to nine month uh, recovery. So four to six to get, you know, really functional again, six to nine to get, you know, fully re rehabilitated. And I'm still going um, PT every Monday. So I got PT tomorrow. Motorcycle. He's just six months in. So. Four months. I'm only four months from my surgery. Oh, okay. Remember, I, I didn't have surgery until oh, Good, good Friday. February. That's when right. got hurt. Yeah, remember, okay. I had to, because of insurance, I had to wait over a month to get surgery. So, but very, I'm doing very well. I actually hurt my left knee yesterday. And it was, it was, oh, I, okay. I should say I heard it uh, building something, right? Yeah. You know, like my right knee when I blew my ACL, and I, you know, I should have heard it uh, chasing a deer through the woods with a spear, right? But instead, I heard it stepping off a four wheeler on a hill and blew my knee out. So yesterday, I hurt my left knee, and it still hurts really bad today. Walking in the camper, I hit my knee right under my kneecap on the corner of the uh, the bed by the bathroom. It's a whole hard corner, and I, it floored me. And uh, yeah, so that was not uh, that was not romantic or uh, uh, adventurous whatsoever, was it? <laughs> hey, but I keep it real here. I, I don't make stuff up. It's, it's this it's the truth here, 100 percent the truth. Oh my goodness. So um, all right, so we may or may not be moving the concrete today. I know right now. I just I'm gonna go home get the charcoal going, get the the ribs. I gotta get the ribs on the grill now, smoking, because my, normally I do the three, two, one method: three hours smoke, two hours uh, in aluminum foil, one hour on a uh, direct flame with uh, barbecue sauce. That's six hours. In case you can do the math, three, two, one. Uh, today we've got about three hours uh, to be ready to eat, so I've got to do my three, two, one, one one half so that's two and a half hours by the time i get it going or anything yeah so quick smoke quick quick uh bake in the aluminum foil and then a quick uh bronze with the uh sauce on it but i'll make them good i'll make them good i think the last t two times david's made ribs you know he did like the the quick method too N they're not as tender they're not quite as good not as smoked when you do it that way but when you got to feed people and you got to feed them quick you do what you got to do right right so uh, it is still another beautiful day. Uh, we had the windows open last night. Yeah. yeah. You know, if Ginger is there and the air conditioner's not on, it's got to be cool outside. I didn't, I didn't get hot, so. Hi. No, yeah, yeah. Nice weather. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's, we're almost back to the ridge, so we'll let you go. I'll get this uh, uploaded to you here pretty quick, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Next time we're on here, Morgan going to be down in Mississippi, so wish him the best. Have him hope he has a wonderful school year. Uh, doesn't uh, study too hard, but he just studies enough to keep his uh, where he needs to be. So. <laughs> Love you all. Until next time, hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling. Go Ridge Life. <laughs>